Hello, and welcome back once again to Jeffinigan's Wake, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Finnegan's Wake to you one page at a time, one day at a time. Put it up on YouTube.com. This is page 448. Here we go. Self, and take a good longing gaze into any nearby shop's window. You may select at suppose, let us say, the hoyth of number 11, Kane or Kyogs, in, and in the course of about 32 minutes' time, proceed to turn a roundabout on your he heels towards the previous causeway, and I shall be very cruelly mistaken indeed if you will not be just a, 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 a stunched to see how you will be meanwhile dern wheel top coated with cakes of slush occasioned by the mush jam of the cross and black walls traffic in transit. See cables and then fly. Show me that complaint book here. Where's Cowton's Kate Clean, the woman with the muckrake? When will the WD face of our sow muckloved Delin, the Troya of towns and Carmen of cities, crawling with mendiants in the perforated clothing, get its well belavored white like the pool and Machester? When's that Grand National Gold Capped Dupsy Derby house pill coming with its vomitives for our mothers in load and stretchers for their devitalized males? I am all of me for freedom of speed, but who'll disparagus Pope's avenue or who'll uproost the opium way? Who'll brighten Brayhouth and bait the Bull Bailey and never despair of Lauren Lorkinsby, the rampant royal commissioners? "'Tis an ill weed blows no poppy good, and this labor's worthy of my hire. Oil for mead and toil for feed, and walk with the band for job lose. If I hope not charity, what profiteers me? Nothing. My tippers of flags are knobs of hard shape, for it is a grim tale. Keeping the father of curls from the sport of oak. Do you know what, little giddles? One of those days I am advised by the smiling vote-seeker, who's now snoring, alluded to positively strike off hiking for good, and all, as I bleed, bloody, well, bloody ought, until such temps as some mood is made under privy-sealed orders, to get me an increase of automobile and footwear for those poor, discalked, and a borse from bond some wind for a cure at Bandonweir, though when where it's going to come from this time as i saturnly think for now honest to john for an income plexus that's that that's about the sanguine boundary limit amen sist dearest john added with voice some wit murky what though still high fa looting as he turned his dorse to her pay court to it and overleaved his boozies to give the note and all right, and and mercifully, we're done with fucking Finnegan's Wake for today. So enjoy that, and have a good night.